Hello everyone, my name is Gaetan and I am with Algolia. Today I'm going to present you our Algolia Search Magento extension. We will see how to install it and how to configure it. But first, what is Algolia? Algolia is an instant search API that allows any website or mobile application to offer their users a seamless and extremely fast search experience. For these users, Algolia makes finding the content that matters to them effortless. Let me show you how it looks like on a Magento store with the Algolia extension installed. What you see here is that at the very first keystroke, Algolia returns four different sections of results, suggested queries, categories, products, and pages. And as I'm typing my query, you see that the results get updated and more and more relevant. The idea with this menu is to offer a maximal relevance for a minimal effort. When searching for categories, Algolia would actually search across all the levels of categories. In our example here, we have two levels, the first one being accessories here and the second one being shoes. Being able to do that really speeds up the navigation inside the store. And this is particularly convenient for stores with a complex architecture. If you select a category, you will see all the products that belong to this category or subcategory. And you'll also be able to refine your query inside this selection using this new search box. Now let's have a look at the suggested query. The query that you see here is actually the most popular matching query for what I started to type in the menu. And it comes along with suggested categories. And this category is actually the one that has the most results for the query uh, shirt. So let's say now that you are looking for a specific product, but you do not find it in the drop down menu. All you need to do is press enter and you will be brought to a full page of results. You've probably noticed in our previous example that a second search box appears on the results page. This box also provides a fine as you type experience and what makes it very convenient is that it can be used in combination with the filters which allows a pretty intuitive search experience. Let me show you. You can, for instance, just start typing a query, refine the results with a filter, and finish typing a query. Or, what you can do is also start by activating a filter and continue with the query inside the selection of products. Let's say, for example, that I want to decorate my house and that I have a budget of $300. You can simply activate those filters and start searching. So here, I select Home and Decor, select my budget, and let's say that I'm looking for a pillow. The goal of this extension is to optimize your visitor's path to what they're looking for. Search should be a zero effort, a zero friction experience, and that's what we're trying to achieve here. So in our next section, we're going to see how to install the Algolia Magento extension. So let's see how to install the Algolia Search Magento extension. The first thing is to go on the extension page on Magento Connect, click on Install Now, get the extension key, and inside your Magento admin panel, simply go in the Magento Connect Manager section. Put your key right here, click on Install, and next you will see that a new section just appeared here. If you click on Algolia search, you will access the configuration dashboard of uh, Algolia. So we ask you to fill out four different fields here. So the application ID, a search only API key, your admin API key, and an index name prefix. You can get this information inside your Algolia account. So the next step is to create your account on Algolia. So to do that, simply go on algolia.com, sign up, and here you will need to choose your main data center. Uh, the idea here is to pick up the region that is the closest to your users. Because what we're actually doing is we stored your indices in one of these regions. So right now I'm in Europe, so I'm gonna select the Europe region. Next, you go in the credentials of your Algolia account and you copy this information right here. Uh, 
Uh, this field you don't have to uh, fill it out. Uh, it's just uh, that it's better to adopt a naming convention convention for your uh, indices. The next two sections actually allow you to choose to use Algolia for the auto completion menu and to use Algolia for uh, the search result page, the one that we showed you in uh, the first section of this video. So here I'm going to put yes and yes, and I'm going to use as a prefix for my indices Magento. You just hit save config and the next step will be to manually do the first indexing. So to do that, you simply go in System, Index Management, and you just need to click on Re-index Data for the Algolia lines. So Algolia Search, Algolia Search Pages, and Algolia Search Suggestion. So once you do that, you can go in your store, start typing, and you see that Search already works. So you can do some search as you type, exactly what I showed earlier. So this is how you install the Algolia search extension. In our next section, section I'm going to go over the different options uh, when it comes to configuring that extension. The second section of your Algolia administration panel is the product search configuration. It allows you to define all the product attributes that you want to make searchable by your end users, the ones that you want to use to rank your results, sort them, filter them, and display them. And this is the default configuration. Let's start by looking at the searchable attributes. So a searchable attribute allows users to find a product if the query matches with this attribute. Let me give you an example here. So here we're searching for TV shows. Each TV show has a name, the name of its episodes, and the name of its actors as three different attributes. Basically, what that allows you to do is to find Game of Thrones by searching for the actor, uh, Liam Cunningham. The second thing that you need to consider is the position of each attribute, searchable attribute in this list. Basically, the higher in the list, the more impactful it is in the ranking of your products. Again, another example here. So what you see here is that we basically said that the name of the TV show is more important than the name of its episode and that the name of its actors. And what that allows you to do is to find here Harold in the purple crayon when I type purple before how I met your mother because the query here matches the name of the TV show. The last thing that you need to consider in the configuration of the searchable attributes is here, this flag, ordered, can be ordered or unordered. What well, by default, uh, Algolia will look at the position of the matching word in uh, the attribute. Uh, the example would be you're searching for an iPhone, so you type iPhone in the search box, and you have two different products. You have case for iPhone and iPhone 5S. The default behavior will be to return iPhone 5S before case for uh, iPhone. So if you want that to happen, just set this flag to ordered. If you do not want that to happen, select unordered. So that's for the searchable attributes. The second thing is if you want to use certain attributes to filter uh, the results. You don't have to make them searchable, you just need to have them uh, retrievable. So let's say that I don't want to make my category searchable, but I want to use them to filter my results. Just that's the configuration that you want to have. Uh, the next thing is you want to sort your results, uh, let's say by price. So to do that, you don't have to make this um, attribute searchable, just make it uh, retrievable. Same logic here. Um, the last thing about this chart is, uh, so retrievable. Basically here, you want to say yes for any attribute that is required to display uh, your results. And that is also true for um, URLs, for instance. The very last thing of this section is the ranking. So here in this section, you want to put in attributes that can be used uh, to display or reflect the popularity of your products. 
Uh, this is very important um, in the Algolia engine. Again, back to this example. Um, here we're using the number of followers of each TV show as a ranking um, criterion. So that when you start typing a query, you already have very relevant results. So Breaking Bad here when I'm typing B. Um, in your example, in the Magento example, you may want to use the number of sales, you may want to use the number of reviews, or stuff like that, basically, to really make sure that the relevancy of uh, your results are, is always optimal. So the very last thing about this section is make sure that whenever you add something or modify something, do the manual re-indexing by going here, index management, and click here on re-index the data. So that's it for this section. The instant search results page configuration section allows you to configure the filtering options and the sorting options on the results page. If you want to add a filter, simply go in the facets section, add the attribute you want to filter on, and if you want to add a sorting option, same logic here. Let's say that I want to sort by stock quantity. Save the configuration. and refresh the page. And you see now my new filter here and my new sorting option here. You have different types of facets. You have the slider, the disjuncting facet, and conjuncting facet. The slider is basically what you see here. So you may want to use it for um, price filtering. The disjuncting facet allows people to choose different values for the same facet. So let's say that you want to choose a four or five star hotel. The conjunctive facet allows to select only one value for a facet. So here, for instance, I can select only male or only female. For the sorts, you have two kinds of sorts ascending and descending. It basically allows you to sort by ascending price or descending price. Now, the last section here basically allows you to replace the default category page by the instant search result page of Algolia. So if you set it to yes, you have this kind of page. And if you select no, you'll see that we're back to the default Magento category page. Let's see now how to configure category search, page search, and query suggestions. Basically, the three other sections in the drop down menu queries, categories, and pages. Configuring category search is actually very similar to product search. Uh, here you can define all the category attributes that you want to make searchable, the ones that you want to make retrievable. You can also define the popularity attribute you want to use in your ranking. For more details, just refer back to the product search configuration section of this video. Next, page search. By default, Algolia will index all the pages of your store. And some of those pages, you may not want to see them as results. So to exclude them, very easy, just click here and select, for instance, service unavailable, save your configuration, and simply re-index your data here. And if you refresh the page, you'll see that this page just disappeared. The next section is query suggestions. So here, you can play with two different parameters, minimum popularity and minimum number of products. Minimum popularity is a popularity threshold for a query to be suggested. And we define by popularity the number of times a query was performed by the users. Minimum number of products is actually the number of products a query needs to return to be 
suggested and displayed. Let's take a look now at the parameters that you can use to configure the UI of your drop-down menu and of the page of results. The first thing that you can configure is the number of suggestions in the drop-down menu, number of products, of queries, of categories, and of pages. If you want to make a section disappear, simply put a zero here in the field. So let's say that we do not want to see categories anymore in our drop-down menu. Save the config. And if we refresh the page, you don't see any category anymore here. For the page of products, there are two things that you can configure. The number of products that are displayed on the page and the number of values per facet. And the last thing that you can configure is whether or not you want to see the Algolia logo in the drop-down menu. That would be awesome if you kept it. And if you want to add a Add to Cart button. Thank you very much for your attention and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to give this extension a try, you can go on Magento Connect and if you have questions, drop us a line at support at algolia.com or you can go on algolia.com directly. Do not forget that the extension itself is open source, so feel free to go on our GitHub and to fork the project.